So on the nose, cinnamon rolls, a little bit of like sweet cherry vanilla, like a creamy vanilla. Smells amazing. On the palate, I get like a brown sugar, vanilla, a little bit of strawberry, like a strawberry sweet berry baked bread. Now it's more of like, kind of like a um, fresh baked crescent roll. So I'm not terribly impressed with the finish. It was, it was just very thin, short. It kind of leaves you wanting more because it's not lasting, but it's really good. So we're back. Elmer T. Lee comes in at $40, which is, I think, very worth it. The problem with Elmer T. Lee is that you can't find it just anywhere. It's super rare. Now, I looked up some bottles that I could compare with Elmer T. Lee, and I found, let's see, the Buffalo Trace Kosher was comparable, and then I was going to try an Eagle Rare. If anybody out there that lives in Virginia and is watching this, they know that Eagle Rare is dropping like hotcakes. David and I were both able to score one, um, and this happens to be David's bottle because I gave my bottle away on Beyond the Rose 2K giveaway. So I actually purchased my Eagle Rare for $36 here in Virginia. Um, it's a Buffalo Trace product as well. So it's kind of, it's, it's very comparable. It comes in at the 90 um, proof and I'm going to try it. <laughs> My pick one turned into pick three. On the nose, I get a light, sweet brown sugar, a little bit of oak, some honey. It smells really, really good. A little bit of spice. I get a little bit of berry. Ooh, it ends thick, warm, caramel. So comparing it to Elmer T. Lee, it has a little more spice on the palate. I get a little bit more of a sugary or like a brown sugar taste. The finish has a nice, sweet, like caramel taffy taste. I'm really, I'm really digging it. And, you know, as it's comparable, I would just say, you know, um, Eagle Rare is a, a, a pretty good matchup to Elmer T. Lee. So another comparable bottle that I'm going to try is the Buffalo Trace Kosher Rye Recipe. So it comes in at 94 proof, which is pretty close to the other um, Buffalo Trace bottles that I'm trying tonight. At retail, you can actually get $45. Secondary market, it's probably a lot more. So on the nose, I get a light, sweet honey, a little bit of oak, a grape. It's so refreshing. A little bit of pine, like a lemon honey pine. It's completely different and great in its own way. I don't really get a tea taste on it, but it kind of with the honey lemon, it kind of reminds me of like I'm drinking a tea. The finish is thin, it's light, just ever so sweet. And I get like a toasted marshmallow on that, on top of all of that. So I've got to say, uh, to sum it up, Eagle Rare and Elmer T. Lee are the closest. Eagle Rare, you're going to find a little bit on the spicier side. Elmer T. Lee, to me, is a little bit on the berry side. Even though I would prefer an Elmer T. Lee, I like the Eagle Rare. It still gives me that sweet sugar goodness that I'm looking for in a bourbon. This guy right here, the kosher uh, rye recipe, wow, Buffalo Trace actually did it right by giving me a completely different experience on this one. Now, if you have an opportunity to taste an Elmer T. Lee, go for it. If you like what we're doing here on Beyond the Row, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean so much to me. If you like what Buffalo Trace is doing, smash that like button. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching. I'm trying to pick which one. We'll see. Oh. Elmer T. Lee was sitting next to some George Stagg.
and let me just say, I hope I put them back in the right spot. <laughs> Bye, guys.